going to be going over the adjusting procedure for an AI shoulder, anterior inferior misaligned glenohumeral joint. Patient is going to be seated on the cervical chair or on an examination table or the pelvic bench. Doctor is going to stand on the affected side of the patient's shoulder. Doctor is with the outside hand, doctor is going to grasp or cup the patient's elbow with his with doctor's inside hand, second, third, fourth digit on the anterior surface of the head of the humerus. This is going to be a baseball style type pitching movement. So always maintain tension on the head of the humerus. If you lose tension on the head of the humerus, you start over. Okay? So maintain the tension. It's going to be A to P tension at the head of the humerus. Bring the elbow back, shoulder extension. Bring it back, and we're going to now do a baseball style pitch movement, maintaining tension. As I bring the elbow around, I'm seating the head of the humerus into the joint. Don't, don't lose tension. Right pec is going to stabilize the sp spine of the scapula on the same side, maintaining tension. Superimpose hand on hand. So wrist is fully supinated. Okay? Maintaining that tension, get it to a point of resistance. At that point, you're, it's a pull move, straight A to P and I to S. Depending on if the A is the major or the I is the major. If there's more A, you're going to bring the elbow up. If there's more I, you're going to bring it, the elbow down. If there's an internal component to the misalignment, you're going to turn the shoulder out. If there's an external component to the shoulder misalignment, you're going to turn it in. That you're going to see on the x-ray during x-ray analysis. And then once you get it to the point of tension, it's just a straight uh, A to P, anterior to posterior, and inferior to superior. And then it's just a straight set like that. We're going to be going over the adjustment of the AI shoulder with the A major or anterior component is major. Patient is going to be supine on high-low with the middle piece locked. Headpiece can go up slightly. Have the patient slide over towards you where the scapula is on the, on the table, but the, there's free movement of the glenohumeral joint. Doctor is going to stand inside the affected arm. With the outside hand, doctor is going to grasp or cup the elbow. I'm going to use a meaty pisiform contact on the anterior surface of the head of the humerus. Fingers are going to wrap over the humerus or the head of the humerus. Patient is going to have arm elbow extended, just like that. Cupping the elbow. Medi pisiform contact on the anterior surface of the head of the humerus, fingers wrap over. Now, the idea is to stabilize the scapula into the table, and it's going to be the thrust is going to come through the contact hand here. There's no thrusting with the outside hand. This is for stabilization and for guidance. So, the more anterior, you're going to bring the elbow up like this. The more inferior, you're going to be down like this. But as we said, if there's a more inferior component, we want to do that seated. If there's an external component of the misalignment, you're going to turn the humerus internally, rotate the humerus. If there's an internal component of the misalignment, you're going to externally rotate the humerus prior to the set. Okay? And it's just going to be a straight set anterior to posterior down, like that.